All right, we're continuing our round the clock coverage here on the front lines of election 2012. Jason Copeland is with us. He's going to walk us through the delegate election process in Montana, the only state where party members slug it out in a bare chested brawl to determine who gets their votes, right, Jason? Absolutely, Andrea. And like you said, it's a rather unique process. As you can see on the hollow ring here, if we could bring yes. this up. Love that. On a primary night, representatives for each candidate gather in the parking lot of this bar to stumble in on Highway 15 in Missoula. Now, it looks like each group is um, staking out its spot. That's exactly right. So yeah. you have uh, Mitt Romney supporters gathering themselves over by the uh, handicapped parking spaces. I see. The Santorum supporters over here by the dumpster. Undecided voters in the ditch with the rusted out car door. Okay. And now, uh, what will happen is uh, after sizing each other up, uh, the supporters will all take off their shirts. Women generally keep their bras on. Right. And uh, go at it in a chaotic, a no-holds-barred, bloody mass street fight. Okay. And uh, the last man standing receives all of Montana's 26 delegates for his uh, candidate. And now listen, some people are going to say that maybe it's time for Montana to move to a more modern process. Well, you know, Montana's a very unique state in that way. They value individuality. They value uh, brute physical strength. It's the only thing they trust. It's tradition. Sure. Now, what kinds of strategy goes into play? Because this is a whole well, new ballgame. Yeah, uh, just like any other state, it's all about the undecided voter, right? So it's right. about pulling the undecided voter over to your side. So uh, representatives will do their best to beat undecided voters unconscious, drag them over to their corner uh, like we're seeing here. Interesting. Uh, when they're, uh, how, how long does this go on for, Jason? Well, if it extends beyond two hours or so, they are allowed to start using uh, baseball bats and broken bottles and campaign signs. Okay. In our simulation here, we can see that uh, Mitt Romney is uh, winning by quite a margin. Okay, so Jason, who are the odds with for taking Montana this well, year? Well, totally a toss-up. You have right. Romney and Gingrich making appearances in the state trying to court the bigger, stronger voters. But then you also have Montana Governor One-Eyed Sue, who is endorsing Rick Santorum publicly. Is she? And she will be there, and that's a big boon for him. Absolutely. And she is quite the scrapper, by the way. I mean, she punctured a man's scrotum with her teeth in the 2000 Oof. election. Okay. Well, we'll all be watching to see what happens. Thank you, Jason. All right, moving on. Newt Gingrich has just received an important endorsement from Fat Criminal Magazine.